What is up, everybody? Welcome to the new map, Antarctic Peninsula, which is a control map, a cough map, everybody. You know, this is going to be a DPS heaven. And let me tell you, I've been uh, walking around, running around on uh, under three points. The maps are beautiful. It looks very stunning, in my opinion. And uh, luckily, I was uh, given access, uh, early access for this. Um, so I can make this video uh, for when it goes live. And uh, you guys will know how to position yourself uh, as a DPS player on these maps. So pretty much, um, this is the spawn. Looks identical on the other side. Uh, pretty much just uh, green, as you guys can see. Um, and uh, here we have the point in here. So the best map that I can somewhat compare this map to would be Busan, the inside map, uh, where you have this uh, big open area over here with the line of sights uh, that you can play around uh, with the little flank with the high ground on the left side. So a lot of the fighting mainly is going to be happening over here around this area to get high ground. You can either go from in here or I think the best uh, route would be to take it over here and fight over here and take control of the, the, the thing in the middle eventually. Once you have cooldowns build up and they don't, you can push them in. Um, but basically, what I would suggest as a flanker, let's start out with flankers and then let's do uh, let's do soldier after that. Uh, soldier is, is is a pretty uh, broad um, positioning because a lot of uh, DPS characters you have to position the same way that you do with soldier, like Junkrat, like May, like Ash. Um, Anso, um, Cassidy, Bastion, Reaper, and stuff like that, right? So, so, but the flankers first. So, what I would actually recommend first, um, just like I would do with um, Busan on the inside map, is if the team is fighting here, uh, what I would recommend, I wouldn't recommend going left side because I feel like that's a little too close, but going right side here so you can uh, come behind them. Um, you can either shoot them from in here or play around out here, or you can go all the way behind them and create havoc. Now, you can also go under. If you go under, you have this mini health pack to play around, uh, which is good. That way you don't have to rely on your healers. So this is only if all of them goes, um, if all the enemies goes this side, because if they have a soldier, let's say that's damage boosted by mercy, on this side of the map, it would be very hard for you to get value if you're going to be peeking all the time down here. In that case, you could try and duel him. But if their soldier and mercy is alone over here, uh, then that means that their support will be completely alone uh, over here trying to pocket their tank. So the best way to go if they have a DPS player over there is to take this flank on the left side. So... Because then, again, you, you still have the mini to play around, which your team might take from you. Okay, they might steal it from you. Uh, but you at least have it to play around. And you're also pretty close to your support, so you can rely, rely on their healing. And then kill their support. Um, but again, that's only because... The thing is, if you flank right side... Even though there is a very good flank all the way around here... The problem is, is that it takes too long. Um... I said earlier that, that this map is very beautiful, but there is a lot of a lot of texture and, and buildings and whatnot that that aren't going to be utilized a lot of the time, I, I would say. Um, especially this part over here. <clears throat> you can go in here. So pretty much if you go from spawn, left side of spawn, you can go into this building right here and take high ground. But that's about it. I mean, this only really works if the enemy team is pushed up uh, really far. And in that case, they can they can chase you down pretty quickly. Even though it is hard to get up, it's only like tracer and stuff like that that can get up because they would have to run all the way around. But but this building is mainly just to to get good positioning if the enemy team is pushing uh, up way too far, which uh, you would have on the other side as well over here. Um. So um. So mainly, I would say stick to your team on this map, even as a flanker. But either go left side if they have a. a DPS on uh, with the mercy pocket on the right side, uh, but if the DPS is alone, you can 100% try and duel him. There isn't really 
uh, a lot of health packs to go around he would have to run all the way back here so let's say it's a soldier that goes out and shoots here he would have to run all the way over here in order to get his health pack which is also only a 75 health health pack so um so here's the point pretty much um but um but once you cap the point you can stay over here and play around here uh and see if somebody uh will go over here by themselves or you can sneak behind them and still be in the line of sight of your supports if they're over there uh while they're pushing in so just break that railing and then they should have a, a better line of sight on you um again most fights will happen over there so now we got soldier um and again default route once you lose the first fight could be this way right here uh you can also check for flankers there make sure that nobody is uh, is pushing too far up or they are holding here or or wherever crazy people might hold and i don't i don't think this route is going to be, be taking too much you could like i said if you have a mercy pocket you could take this route uh as long as as your your second support knows to play safe especially if the enemy team doesn't have any flankers at all you going over here just by yourself or and even better with a mercy pocket you can um have line of sight on them take high ground you can pretty much have all the best line of sights that you want while your team is taking point again don't overextend and the fact that this goes slightly down gives you a very good head glitch so you can go up shoot um you can even shoot between this one and the ground which makes it even harder for the enemies to shoot you uh but uh, easy for you because you kind of you kind of control the pace of it right so um so yeah you can do that um but at the start of the route <clears throat> you want to be uh walking out with your team uh either through that that door uh probably that door i'd say the middle one so that means that you can get over here quicker um and start to take high ground shoot them once they're coming in uh it's either there or there they're gonna come through so these two doors right here uh, just make sure that those are in check uh, and, and also once you go up here and take the space you can also check for flankers immediately because they'll be coming over there um so there's a lot of open line of sights on this map it's very compact as well a lot of obstacles in the way um uh, it's a big thing on on point people can play around there so <clears throat> hello but this 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 uh, this map definitely strikes me as a brawl type map so so the main difference between this this one and the busan map is that there's there's a lot of of uh, line of sights that you can break from widowmakers and stuff like that if you have a Widowmaker over there, you can pretty much just play around this big pillar right here if you want and shoot the enemies. Uh, or you can play all the way over here and uh, she can't really get too much value against you. Also, if you want to duel her over here, like, you can go out and peek her. Once you shoot once, you can go over on this pillow and, and, and pretty much just, like, run around her all the time. So, Widowmaker, you're probably not going to see a lot of Widowmaker being played on this map. And I think a Brawl-type uh, comp will be the optimal um so like junkrad reaper Hello. torb um soldier ash cassidy those types Hello. of character bastion i think will be played the most on this uh on this map and will should mostly be positioning themselves on the left side um so yeah next map here we go Arriving at Antarctic so uh once you spawn on this point of the map Something very important, something that you have to do is fishing. You gotta get some fish. That is the most important thing before the game start is to make sure you catch as many fish as possible. Um, you know, you can, you can farm them with some bastion if you want. Um, make sure your teammates are there to help you out, get as many fish as possible. So, but make sure to fish. So this is also a, a pretty brawler heavy map. Uh, not as much as, as the last uh, map, but not as much. The, the, the next, the last map uh, is going to be uh, good for long range hit scans and, uh, and flankers and whatnot. Uh, but pretty much, um, you come in here, point is here. Uh, you have this flank route. Let's go over the flank route first. 
Um, this will be the, the biggest flank route over here. Um, where you have your uh, mega over there. And let's just say you have a tracer duel here. Uh, it's about fighting for the health pack here. Uh, but the problem with this is that just like the other one is that if you're fighting someone here it's kind of like the same as uh the pal the um, I, I keep calling them the inside map but pretty much like the one where it, like goes up you know what i mean like, uh, like a pyramid almost um where your tracers are going to be dueling and flankers are going to be dueling on the right side uh inside where the, where the glass is uh, and your other team is going to be fighting over on the on the other side. Um, the problem here is that it's, it's a long run from here to the, the enemies. And they also have line of sight on you a lot of the time. So what I would recommend is going with your team. Uh, or actually going out uh, this door right here. This is how I would initially uh, play the flanker. Go out here and go this way. Because once you take the lift door, you get into the engine room. And right here... So this is where the majority of the fighting is going to happen. Uh, your team is going to go up here. From spawn, they're going to go up here. And then they're going to fight here. Um, and uh, you could go from point. But again, if you go from point, you don't have any uh, health packs to play around. Which is something that you really want to do as a flanker. If you're here first, you could also be a little cheeky. And uh, blink up in this window right here where I would recommend you as a soldier to play. I'll show you later. Um, but if you go in the engine room right here, we'll be able to play around the health pack. And you can even go up here and shoot from behind if uh, if their soldier doesn't go up there. Uh, so let's just say your team is going to be, be playing around here where the spray is. Um, you can go up here. And again, I think I think at least these two first maps are going to be uh, brawl comps. Um, they're going to be like Ramatra, uh, Orisa, Reinhardt, uh, Roadhog, those types of tank characters. Uh, and they're most likely be going to be going this way here. Um, because it also gives you an option. Let's just say you have a Lucio, you're playing Reinhardt, you're fighting here, but you're not really winning the duel. You can just speed around the corner here and engage on their backline. Because their backline will, will most likely be playing here. So you can, and if their tank is here, you can kind of avoid the tank by speeding onto them from behind. So, so, uh, so this is where most of the the the, the tank fights are going to happen, which gives you an an opening window to fight here, or go for an even bigger flank. Um, so the so the long flank, uh, again, if you're Genji, you can just climb that wall. Uh, same with Hanzo, but I don't know if you were flanking as Hanzo. There's this flank right here that gets you on point, that gets you behind them. Again, this flank is very long and they'll be here, they'll hear every step. Now, they will hear every step regardless, but you can make it, um, you can make it a little bit faster so they don't have as much time to, to react to it, which is pretty much just over here and then just like blink up and then you're already behind them. So make sure that you're going up on this little, uh, this little, levitated area right here and uh and you can just blink up uh most of the times you're gonna use one blink sometimes you mess it up like i just did and you have to use two but um this is a this is a way quicker route to uh to get up here and, and be behind them so that's one way to be behind them on the uh, s tracer um again this is like this the, the the level differences here is makes it really hard to to take the flank on the right side because Let's just say you do take the flank on the right side. You're going to be walking down here and they're going to be up there. You're going to be like, hey, guys, 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 it's me. It's me, Tracer. Remember me from, from Overwatch 1? And uh, they're just going to ignore you. Uh, I guess you can't go in here, but... But I, I personally like this one behind them a lot more because it's like directly behind them and they have to do a 180 to look at you. Like pretty much ignore their whole team instead of like before and they can just like look down and like look back up really easily so <clears throat> so that's what i would do as tracer um but once you act let's just say you win the first point there's a lot of 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 um of ice here that you can play around um you can't really go over there but um 
Yeah, they will be they will be taking this route most likely from over here up here which means that you could possibly let's just say you win the fight quick you could go over here and hide over here and maybe see if you can catch a support off because again there's so many line of sights that you can play around and spawn uh so i think i definitely think especially no wish league that we might see some very aggressive pushes on this map yeah some very aggressive pushes so i don't know i i really love these maps these maps are beautiful in my opinion um and also make sure to uh to say hi to the penguins guys you guys gonna come out oh there they are you're just kind of chilling up there soldier is is pretty easy on this map um yeah just go this way actually yeah you can take this way right here uh with your team and pretty much just hold this flank if they do decide to go over um just play with your anna right here or or your baptiste or sin or what it might be um but if you want to take a little bit of a more aggressive angle what you want to do is just come out the same way as uh or no actually go out this uh, this gate right there and follow this route over here and um And take high ground like this uh, kind of like the same route as tracer uh what this gives you is way more line of sight on the supports uh again this is way more aggressive but the thing about this uh position right here is that um if they hold there you can you can play line of sight with this uh wall right here so you can go out shoot go back in all that kind of stuff just jiggle peek them uh, but don't stay here if they have a soldier over there because you cannot break the line of sight of the soldier by walking into this wall, which means that you'll have to play around here. So then you'll have to pick them like this and kind of ignore the soldier at, uh, most of the time if the enemy soldier is standing there. Uh, or you can try and do it here. But the thing about this high ground here is that you can't really uh, get up here as, as many characters. You need something to that can give you high ground. Uh, so rocket jump can give you high ground or... Or Genji can 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 jump up here. Uh, Hanzo can climb all that kind of stuff. But you can't just like walk up here, which is why it's actually it's a very low high ground, but it's it's actually a pretty uh, efficient high ground. So, uh, but yeah, if you play here, obviously if you stay up there, you can't be looking over here. But if you stay here and the enemy team has a tracer, you can kind of shoot her and annoy her a lot. Uh, and again, since there's only a one health pack over here and in miles radius, and it's only a 75 health uh, health pack. Uh, she won't be doing a whole lot she would have to go all the way over there to get her uh, mega health pack so again it's it's really hard to to hold close on these maps because it's uh, as a long range hit scan <clears throat> you most likely just want to want to stay uh with your tank because it's very brawl like maps um if you push up too far here you pretty much have no line of sight of them until they come over there and they have free uh flank which can give them high ground behind you um so pretty much just like play safe take it easy i kind of force them on point um but they can they can still cap point from over here so they can break your line of sight so um if you have a mercy once you win the first fight you can play over here you can also play without a mercy uh and then just kind of like let your tank deal with them over there uh while you make sure that uh while your team is like playing around there or over there make sure that they don't cap uh, the point with like breaking line of sight here um so this map is very different from a lot of the maps so a lot of other maps like just pure blizzard design would have a high ground here um so a high ground that you would most likely position yourself in after you've capped the point but this map doesn't have that so um i can't really be playing around that uh, i'm pretty sure you can Get up there if you like rocket jump right but you would have to rocket jump up there oh i didn't do it um but again oh never mind you just slide down hey. but again uh, having to use two rocket jumps in, uh, to get in uh, to get into a position it's not worth it so you can play over here once you cap the point and you've helped your team win over here you can uh, play over here um again if you play over here uh, especially if you have a mercy 
your team will just be ran down by the by the enemy team especially if they have a remaster lucio anna for example and they just remaster uses nemesis form and just walks you down so uh play over there in the initially but play over here afterwards to make sure that they don't just cap the point for free by playing line of sight so um so yeah again beautiful map in my opinion um yeah now on to the last map which is very it's a it's a good map for soldier guys let me tell you soldier players are gonna love this or the sojourn players yep there are still some of those left so big open spawn area feels good man anyways um so what is it oh yeah so this map is not so good for flank routes so again like i said two other maps can take the flank route the flank routes aren't a no-go um but but there's also a lot of um a lot of close range flank or like close flanks that you can take where most of the action happens uh where where you can easily get behind uh enemy lines and uh, and kill them um so pretty much so let, let me show you first b b before uh, i i talk more about it so this is the flank route okay so it's a lot of open space over here there's a lot of space on the left side so that's point over there so this is point the point kind of reminds me of the oasis map where there's that big bridge on top of the point. Um, I'll go into more into details about that um, later, but but that's how I can describe it the, the best. At, at least like just point. There's more high ground than than on that map. So um, so pretty much flank has a uh, jump pad, um, and uh, it has a window. Um, now I don't really see a big purpose to the window, but there is a window um but you can drop down and touch point over here so it's a it's a it's a good flank to touch point but that's that's really it in my opinion um you can really flank over here but again most of the time uh, as i'll get into details later i would recommend you to stay up here as soldier for example so like even though you've made this flank all the way over here you still have to run even further back and then once you're here you still have um <clears throat> still have to close the gap with at least like one blink um and it's just it's it's so much so much work uh but pretty much there's a lot of open space over here um very beautiful though very very beautiful uh the map designers did an amazing job on this map um got to make a health pack but again the only times you really want to go over here in my opinion the uh be uh for um uh, tracer duels which again i would i would avoid because if their tracers going this way i'd you'd most likely get more value going the other way um but yeah there's um there's a little uh, flank down here um that you can take uh through these tunnels and if you want to get up there's a jump pad so but again as you can see like if the enemy team is going to be playing here or they're going to be playing over here you have such a big distance to close from over here. I mean, like with three blinks, you pretty much just get to where I would recommend you to position yourself in the first place. And you would have to take an even more aggressive positions once you win the first fight. So, it's, um, I'd ignore this area most of the time. Um, because, but just make sure if the enemy team has a tracer or something like that, that uh, she doesn't flank this way because... If she does catch you off guard, it, it could be bad news, Billy Bears. Uh, but you can stay in these, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah. So, um, so uh, now on to what I would actually do as Chaser. Um, I'd probably, uh, I'd go over here. So let me show you how it is from spawn. So you can either take it out from that door or this door. If you take it out from the right door, you pretty much just go over here, um, in here, and then over here. So what I would recommend, we'll get more into this as soldier uh, and stuff like that, is to position yourself here first. So 
your team will play around here uh your tank might want to play over here um but as you you as tracer you want to you want to go this way here so you can break these railings um so you have a mega health pack to play around here and you have a 75 health pack right here and you have point over here so you can easily just like uh jiggle around point and take point while they're chilling on high ground um but if you wanna if you wanna get back and fight them you just go uh, over here and uh, and they'll be staying over there most likely either there or here which is even better and and you can play around this mega health pack here so so you have two health packs one really really close one which is a mega health pack which is even better um another one is over there um so i would definitely take this route first as tracer and you can pretty much get like close line of sight you can break line of sight here you can blink up on them if you want to and and, and start shooting them um so i think i don't think brawl is really going to be played much on, on on this map uh i think dive is most likely going to be uh what most people are going to play unless it's like a hard like let's Maybe Ramatra is going to be meta. We're going to have a hard Ramatra meta. Of course, most people will be playing Ramatra at any given time. But but if every um, if every characters are equally balanced in the tank role, then I think I definitely think that we're going to see some Ball, Diva, and Winston on this map, which is going to be very fun. So uh, so yeah, take this route. You can play uh, head glitch here and, and scout them out, and um, and also take this route. And if you're like in a little bit of a pickle you can just jump down get the health pack and and go back up on the flank um so so yeah play around here most of the time us tracer like try and try and create as much distraction and and uh, as much annoyance uh by forcing point so forcing point pretty much just means um if they have point you go and try and just most of the time you're not gonna cap it but you're at least gonna put their attention on the point and, or even better have people drop down from high ground in order to contest the point uh and if you do that like let's just let's say they have a ramatra he drops down to contest point what your team can do is you can pretty much just blink over here and and start engaging on their back line while their ramatra is stuck on point because he has way less mobi mobility than you do um so yeah that's mainly gonna be your 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 job and and how your positioning should be is is uh, play the flanks over here uh, and once point is unlocked, uh, or if the enemy team has capped it, you want to start um, trying to cap the point. So, so yeah. And then soldier, um, Every soldier out this way cause. or this way. It's, it's really up to you which one you prefer. Um, and then uh, get high ground over here as fast as possible. Because they'll be standing over there, so you can be shooting them. Um, again, not a lot of things is going to die around here, so Widowmaker might also be played a lot, and a Widowmaker spot that you might have to worry about is that one up there. Um, I can quickly show you what it's going to look like from your point of view. So this is the Widowmaker spot. Uh, you have pretty free line of sight on that one, and you can shoot up there. Um, this is also a good spot for you, but uh, once you have to drop down and play with your team here, if the team pushes up on the right side... You'll be uh, in line of sight whereas if you stay over here first you can pretty much just run from the inside so have the light this big line of sight here that you can play around uh and you'll also uh, be in the room much quicker and play around the health pack room if you want um so there's a lot of good high ground that you can stay on here um and pretty much whichever you whichever one you prefer uh this one might actually be better against winston but the problem here is that you don't really have much line of sight else than that because if you stay here you will also be able to have line of sight on the uh tracer or whoever is going to be forcing point initially um so the first fight i'd recommend staying here because you can shoot whoever gets on point and you can shoot the enemies who are going to be over here um yeah uh once you win the first fight um i'd take a a bit more of an aggressive position I'd start positioning myself over here because you don't really have to worry about this flank over here because I mean Genji can get up here but not really much else can get up there um, and you have to worry about the people behind you but 
you have line of sight from them if they want to start running from over there to in here um you can also have a lot of line of sight on point um by staying up here if they're going to point again guys on every map high ground is key uh and let's just say they're playing like let's just say they play like a brawl comp um with like reinhardt and stuff um and they decide to go this way they come out of spawn they're going left side they're taking lower ground here and they're just forcing points so they pretty much just have everybody stay on point with reinhardt's uh, massive shield uh you can pretty much just stay on stay on high ground for free as long as you don't don't drop down you won't be uh, in any threat really to like a reinhardt or like a reaper or a torb and, hey. and stuff like that a junk rat a junk rat will, will, will one shot you at any hey. random Hello. given moment so it doesn't really matter <laughs> um so so yeah, say high ground if they force point uh if they don't force point then they'll be fighting up then they'll be going out there initially uh most likely or they'll just come here immediately which means that you can easily fall back to this line of sight here uh, and play behind your tank so play around this area right here um you could also take a more way more defensive uh, position but again if you position yourself up here you will not have line of sight on point which is where they're most likely where the enemy team most likely want to play if you lose the first point um now let's just say uh you lose the first point you can go up here you can go out this way out that spawn over there take high ground here because they will most likely be playing over there and over here so if you lose first point you can take this route and you will uh, you will have a lot of line of sight because at that point you don't have to worry about defending the point um you just have to take your time and and win the fight and then you can take the point so so yeah um uh, i'm a little sad that um this flank isn't really useful that much uh i feel like it would be more useful if you could either open this glass like um they added like a mechanism that you could open the glass for let's say like five ten seconds in like from behind there and then like you can open it and you can shoot and then you can like close it again and uh and you can like uh take this flank so you can play trace or you can open it blink over to the enemies but but right now there's just not a lot of of use for it over here. i am sorry but um uh, like once like let's just say you you're playing soldier so if you play soldier over here it's hard for the enemy team to to deal with you um but they can easily because there's a lot of high ground but it's they can easily break line of sight i mean you don't like there's a massive wall there this wall they can like just uh, go behind there or push in and you don't really have line of sight of point either so so yeah i don't think uh oh let me in so i don't think this flank you're gonna have to worry about too much because uh, i don't think it will be used too much hey which is a little bit sad and i hope they they utilize it a little bit more in the future especially adding maybe something to this window here uh that makes it useful but so far i'd stay away from this place but it is pretty beautiful so yeah that's a dps positioning guide for um the new map antarctic peninsula yeah that's it guys all right Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe, everybody. If you uh, watched it this far and uh, peace out.